sisters, we are back again for the second day. If you were there on the first day, you will see that something has started happening. You are founded on a good foundation. Today, the topic is ask the Lord what you want. It is even the Lord himself telling you that. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 10. Ask the Lord what you want. Isaiah 62 from verse 3 down to 5. Catch me by my word. It is time to do it. There are so many things you are missing. God knows. If you go to Matthew chapter 6 verse uh, 8. He says, before you ask, your Father in heaven knows that he went beyond that. Matthew 7, 7. Ask, seek, knock, it shall be granted. Matthew 18, 18. Where two or three are gathered in my name, asking of a thing, I will grant it. Luke 18, verse 1 to 8. Ask, seek, knock, for those who ask, we are given. Is your own exceptional. That's what we're talking about. In Haggai chapter 2, verse 6, the scripture says, God will shake the heavens like a tree bearing fruit and it will fall on your head. Be ready to pick. Peter was asked in the answer from Apostle 10, Peter, rise up. Look into the basket. Kill and eat. So it will be too much for you. The grace will be too much for you. And God himself will speak out to your hearing. My grace is enough for you. As he told St. Paul. You will have enough to eat. You have sufficient to give out. Believe God. Don't doubt. For one minute, doubt is doubtful. And deadly to fear. And obstruction to getting things from God. If you really want God to shake the fruit onto your head, you join in me. Say Amen. God is readily waiting with open hands to give you, and you are running away. He says, Come and gather. He was able to perform it as a manner in the desert for the people of Israel. They ate rice from nowhere. Partridge, meat from nowhere. If he was able to do it, he will repeat it in our own time. One month, you still have power to give your testimony. He is a God of miracles. I don't know which God you say, but my own is a surpriser. I'm serving the Lord of miracle. I know. Yes, I know. I am serving the Lord of miracle. I know. Yes, I know. I am serving the Lord of miracle. I don't know. Please do you know? I am serving the Lord of miracle. I know, yes, I know. If you are serving the Lord of miracle, be ready for your miracle. Amen. Your miracle is on your way. Don't give up. There is a miracle on your way. 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 Don't give up. There is a miracle on your way. Mm. There is a miracle on your way. There is a miracle on your way. There is a miracle on your way. Don't give up. There is a miracle on your way. Sister, there is a miracle on your way. 
brother. That is a miracle on your way. That is a miracle on your way. Raise up your hand and start to pray. Father, Lord, my brothers and sisters are online. They have come to receive your miracle of the year. The year seems gone, but it is not yet over for us in the spirit. For we know nothing happens in the physical world without first of all taking place in the spiritual realm. Father, begin to perform your wonders for us. Begin to be our game changer. I know as part players, even dying minute is not a dying minute for them. They love it because they can perform wonders and miracles at that moment. Father, Lord, come into our game. You are number nine, shattered man. And number ten, goal scorer, goal getter. Father, come and be our goal getter. Do something miraculous. Your dribble, one, dribble, two, dribble, three. Oh no, the goalkeeper is displaced. Look at the net. He's yawning. Receive it. Do I? Father, thank you. Wave your hand. Wave your hand wherever you are. For we know the Lord has done it. We know the Lord has done it again. For you, for me, for us all. Father, what we have lost, we are beginning to experience their arrival one by one. Shuri Baba Kasaka Tarama Kurumu Kuchinka Baba. Jesus the Lord, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, El Shaddai is your name. We worship you, we honor you, we adore you, we glorify you, for we know you have done it again as always. You have done it for you, did it others, you do it for us. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever, says Aaron Corinthian and Roman 10. Father, do it again in our own time. Begin to change our game. Begin to turn things around in our lives. Father, we are asking for various things. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, as you are asking the Lord, what do you have in mind? The Lord says, what do you have in mind? Begin to supplicate. Mention them. Tell God what you want. If you are a girl and you are looking for a husband, Describe that man for God. He is a belly pot man. Pot bellied man. Tell God you need pot bellied man. He is a bad headed man. Tell God you need a bad headed man as a husband. You young man, if you want a fair looking girl or a dark complexion, tell God, describe your problem now to God. Hmm. Don't be surprised. What you describe will be given to, but don't demand beyond your capacity. Like some of us there, you may ask God to give you aeroplane when you don't have bicycle. That not crazy request. Don't blame God. He will give you the one that will carry your weight. He knows you don't have bicycle. Can give you motorcycle. You have motorcycle. Can give you vehicle, and so on according to that gradation, according to your capacity. He wouldn't give you what will weigh you down or just kill you. If you don't have one hour and God give you one billion, won't you die? <laughs> Ask what you can carry, please. God is watching. God is waiting for you. Hmm. Believe it is happening now. Believe it is happening now. Don't be a little fated person. Just supplicate. Put your application. Hmm. Put your application now. Hmm. Put your application. You don't expect it. It is only one month. Mm. Don't be surprised. A reggae singer says, One day to go, 
Hmm. Two days to go. We have one month to go. But it's not gone. It is not yet over until it is over. 23 hours, 59 minutes, you still have the opportunity of your testimony. My brother, my sister, don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hold. Don't shake. Don't vibrate. Don't cry. Don't shed tears. Don't regret. Don't nurse your teeth. Watch it out. Mm. It's clicking. It's a long train. It's joining up. Remember the value of bones. Mm. A great noise is being made now. What is happening? The bones are joining. Later, the sinew will come. Later, the flesh, everything will cover up. As we go day after day, this is second day. You have just asked. Not that God doesn't know it, but He wants you to do it yourself. Isaiah 7:10. He asked the prophet to ask. He's asking you today. Ask. Matthew 6, 8. He knows already what is the content of the but he said again in Matthew 7, 7 ask. Not to speak is the blame of the mouth. Hmm. 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 As I have said, ask. Don't forget to ask for peace of this country. It's above all. For you have everything without peace, you are in pieces. We need peace, harmony, mutual understanding, seeing one another as brothers and sisters. It is devastating this our country. Different cultures, different languages, background is killing us here. Let us unify culturally, ethnically, language wise. Let these things not be barriers to our common growth. Unity in Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name, I pray. Hmm. Tomorrow, get ready to navigate. When I say move, you move. I thank you, Lord. Wave your hand and thank the Lord because you have asked. He permitted you to ask. You have asked. Definitely. Your asking cannot be. You're going to pray here. Yeah. Open my closed doors. That's you are asking God. Page 85. Prayer 11. Let God open your. That's the prayer. Thunder and fire. Page 85. Prayer 11. Open my do closed doors. Lord, you will do it. The door the Lord has opened, nobody can close. The door the Lord has closed, nobody can now open. Your doors are open. No demon, no Jupiter can close it. Peace be with you. I bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Meet you again by this time, 10 o'clock. Something great is going to take place that day. Don't miss out. God, the consuming fire, is visiting your case now. No matter how difficult it is, they will turn to ashes. Fire will visit and turn your case to ashes. Your hand not to crack. It will melt them. See, this fire with big log of wood, these are the kinds of logs of wood we use in cooking difficult items like 
you're preparing a palm nut or you're cooking hard food like peanut, you use big logs. That's why we are applying big logs to your cases. And they will cook them. They will get done and they will eat. And they will know that God's hand is in your case now. Say a bigger amen. God bless you. Thank you.